All right, and hello everyone. It is me, Jay Burns, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the Alpha Loom template for my pretty pinwheels design. And this design is a bracelet design. So, here is the template. And so to go through and make this design, it's just like making any ordinary Alpha Loom bracelet. And how you would read the template is you start here with the columns. So column one is where you would start. And then here on the side, we have the numbers for the rows. And for each column, you place the band that corresponds to the color square that you, that's underneath that number in the row that it needs to be in. So you would need a, a turquoise rubber band here in row 1, another one in row 2, and then down here in row 4, where it's the only one that's different, you need a white band in row 4. Or whatever color you wish to use in place of the colors on the template. And then you just go through the entire template, each column here at the top, and once you got to column 14, which is this last one here, you would start over so this template would go back to the beginning and place the bands the same way you did the first time. You just keep going through the template over and over until you make the bracelet long enough for whoever's going to be wearing it. Alright, so in the description, if you're not sure of how to make Alpha Loom bracelets, I'll have three links to three different tutorials that show you how to make Alpha Loom bracelets three different ways. One with the alpha loom, one with a rainbow loom, or just a kind of a regular loom, and one with just two pins. Alright, now for the rubber bands, the group of bands you're going to need, you're going to need a minimum of three different colors, but to get your bracelet to look like what's on the template, you'll need a minimum of five colors. But there's only th four groups of bands and three different colored groups. So one group is the border group and they are the bands that are these turquoise, this aqua green, and these blue squares on the template. Those are the border bands. Then we need the pinwheel bands which are the orange and yellow squares here on the template. And then the background bands which are white squares in the template. Then the fourth group, which you don't really see in the bracelet, is the connector band group. And they just connect the rows of bands together and make sure you end up with a single bracelet and not seven little single chains. And when I said you need at least five different colors to match what's on the template, as you can see here, I changed the color of the border for the second pinwheel. And I also changed the color of the pinwheel for the second pinwheel as well. Alright. So here is an example, a little sample of the design. There we go. Zip that out. As you can see I used alpha bands and I would recommend using alpha bands uh, bands since this is kind of a little bit more it seems to be a little bit more of a detailed design and how it looks with kind of pixels or just squares. Having alpha bands, which kind of are like mini squares or mini pixels in the bracelet. Since they look more like squares than just using regular bands, I would recommend using alpha bands because they, they just look better, in my opinion. But if you only have regular bands, what you can do is you can take the regular band twist it, then fold it like a book back on top of itself, and what you just did is made a cap band, and you can just use this band as a single rubber band. And it'll end up being about the same size as an alpha band when it's loomed. Alright, so if you would rather get a template that you can download and print if you have a printer, 
Then I'll have a link in the description to my Alpha Loom website where I post Alpha Loom templates and you can find this template on there. And yeah, so if you need the template again so that you can make the design, I'll hold it on the screen, use the pause button. Alright, taking it off the screen and you can just use the pause screen to make the design. So that's pretty much all I have to say for this video, other than thanks for watching, and bye!